And so I take great pleasure now to introduce our president, Elizabeth Cannon, who's going to build on Dylan's teaser. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Franco. We have great student leaders. Franco and Dylan, you're absolutely wonderful. Key part of what makes this university great. It is my pleasure today to be able to talk about where the University of Calgary is going. As many of you know, that last January we launched Project Next. It has been an exercise that has brought the most engagement to this campus in its history. And it's all about setting a bold and ambitious future for our university. Many of you in this room are involved, and I want to say a big thank you, because this is our vision and our strategy. This is what's going to define us as we head to our 50th anniversary in 2016. Over 4,000 people participated, some through workshops, iPad input, email, a roving booth, in many, many ways, ideas big and small. Those were captured, they were distilled, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. So I want to say a big thank you. I want to say thank you to the Strategy Steering Committee comprised of faculty, staff, and students who made this happen. Particularly, I want to thank Keith Dobson, the chair of the committee, professor in psychology in the Faculty of Arts, who really kept this on track. And I want to thank two of our own faculty who helped design the planning process. We looked inside to our own talent, Jim DeWalt, Lauren Falkenberg from the Haskain School of Business, to, <laughs> woo, to set up a process that is unique and innovative and works for the University of Calgary. So today we're talking about the results of Project Next. We've created a document that you can get on the way out. It contains a strategy statement. It contains our foundational commitments. It's bold and it's, and it's ambitious and it's ours. What does it say? It says the University of Calgary will be a global intellectual hub located in Canada's most enterprising city. In this spirited, high quality learning environment, Students will thrive in programs made rich by research and hands-on experiences. And by 2016, we will be one of Canada's top five research universities, fully engaging the communities we both serve and lead. So I just want to pick up on a few points. We will be an intellectual hub. It will be a physical space and a virtual space that will bring together scholars and students, artists and others to generate ideas, to build innovations and to really ensure that we are the go-to place for what's next. We will have a focus on our students and their learning environment to ensure that when they graduate from the University of Calgary, they will have the skills and attributes that they need to be successful as leaders in our community. And we will ensure that we will create an environment so our faculty and students can thrive in their research, push the boundaries of their disciplines, and make an impact on our economy, on our society, and our quality of life. So that's exciting. Within that, we have our three foundational commitments. The first is around scholarship and research. We will sharpen our focus. We will look at our systems and process and make sure we create that ecosystem that everyone engaged in research can reach their individual and collective potentials. We will hold ourselves to the highest standards nationally and internationally. And we will ensure that our students are fully engaged in that research environment. Secondly, we will enrich the quality and breadth of learning. That talks about support to our faculty for teaching excellence. It speaks to our learning environments, the physical spaces that's so important for learning in the 21st century. And it also means that our programs are relevant and skills and attributes that you gain through our curriculum and through our extracurricular activities 
fully enhance your path to success. Calgary is a community of leaders. We want to ensure our graduates are leaders, and we will focus on that community service and, of course, our commitment to sustainability. Perhaps most importantly, what makes us different? What makes us different is that we are located in the great city of Calgary. This is a city of leaders in corporate, in the community, in arts and culture, philanthropy, in volunteerism. We want to, as Calgary reaches its, its national and international prominence, that we are seen as an anchor institution in this great city, we are relevant to its citizens, and that they look to us for what we do in terms of educating their children and impacting their daily lives through our research. So The Economist this year came out and said that Calgary is one of the world's top five livable cities. We want to be a top five university in a top five city. <laughs> Underpinning our commitments are our core values. These are important. This speaks to how we do business and how we operate as a university. I will just touch on a few. One I mentioned before is sustainability. As a university in North America's energy capital, we have a particular responsibility around sustainability in everything that we do and how we present ourselves in terms of solving some of the most important issues facing society today. We will hold ourselves to levels of excellence on the international stage. We will ensure that we support each other as one university family so that we work together through alignment. So if we look at all of this, I think the University of Calgary has a great future. So that is what Project Next has produced. The question is, what's next? What's next at now that we've set these broad goals is to start getting to work. I'm joined here today by my colleagues, Drew Marshall, our new provost, our new Vice President Research, Ed McCauley, who are our academic leaders on campus. They will work with the executive leadership team. They will work with deans. They will work with our faculty, staff, and students to build initiatives, build programs that's going to put this into action so we arrive at our goals by 2016. So this is an exciting time. Today is the start of that journey. And with that start, we want a call to action because we need everyone in this room and beyond to really help us get to work and achieve our goals. When we look at that call to action, it's about looking back into our past. When we started in 1966, our motto was, I will lift up my eyes. We draw on that tradition to look to our future, and our call to action today is eyes high. We want to set our eyes high to ensure that we reach our goals to be top five. We set our eyes high to reach our goals around a quality teaching and learning experience. And we set our eyes high to ensure that we fully integrate with this great community of Calgary and beyond. So that's what I commit to you today. This is our shared vision. It's an exciting time, and as we move on this journey to go eyes high, I hope everyone joins us for that great success that we'll be celebrating on our 50th anniversary in 2016. So in closing, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for participating and shaping this vision and strategy, and thank you for everything that you will do to bring this to a reality, to really build a great university in a great city. Thank you very much.